topic of this video is rewriting absolute value inequalities using a number line. Let's look at some problems. Shade all values of star that will make the statement true. Write an inequality involving star. Okay, so we have the following statement. The absolute value of star is less than or equal to 8. Something I'd like to remind you, whenever you see the absolute value of star, what I want you to think in your mind is distance from 0. So another way that we could rewrite this inequality statement would be to say we want all of the numbers that have a distance from 0 that is less than or equal to 8. Let's see if we can figure out some of those numbers. How far away is 1 from 0? One step. Is that less than or equal to 8? Yes. So could star be here? Absolutely. How about 2? That's two steps from 0, which is less than or equal to 8. Same thing with 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and 7. How about 8? Is 8 less than or equal to 8 steps from 0? Yes, it's 8 steps from 0. So 8 we're going to count. How about the numbers in between the numbers? Is 3.5 less than or equal to 8 steps from 0? Yes, 3.5 is less. How about the numbers on the other side? Yes, 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 yes. But the moment I get beyond 8, the answer becomes no, because then the distance would be more than 8, and I want less than or equal to. So the point that we get from this exercise is if we wanted to shade all of the numbers on the number line that are 8 steps away from 0 or less, it would look like this. Every number between negative 8 and positive 8 is 8 steps or less away from 0. Okay, let's look at another problem. How about this one? The absolute value of star is greater than 0. All right. So what that means is that we want the distance from 0 to be more than 0. Well, think about what that means. Let's say you're standing here at zero. The moment you leave zero, you're more than zero steps away from zero. Even if you take just the tiniest, tiniest bit of a step. If you take just a half step and you're at the number 0 0.5, well, you're now half a step away from zero. You're 0.5 steps away from zero. And 0.5 is more than zero. So we have to include the value 0.5. Similarly, we would have to include 0.1 and 0.01 and 0.0001. We could even go the other way, negative 0.5, negative 0.1, negative 0.01, negative 0.0001. The lesson here is the moment you take even the tiniest, tiniest step left or right of zero, your distance from zero will be more than zero. So when we shade this on our number line, this is what it would look like. In fact, every number in the world is more than zero steps away from zero, except zero itself. All right, let's do one last one. Absolute value of star is greater than four. Okay, well, that just means that if you start at zero and you travel one, two, three, four steps to the right, anything beyond that would be greater. And so we would shade like this. But you can just as easily go the other way. Start at zero and go one, two, three, four, and anything beyond that would also be greater. Okay, so this is going to be an important building block skill for our future videos when we get to attempt to solve absolute value inequalities. Those are statements that include greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and also include absolute value bars.